Hey y'all, this is Anya Dekotos. Welcome back. If you haven't seen the previous videos, um, I canceled my BoxyCharm subscription because uh, I just have too much stuff and I want to try some other subscription box. So that is what I have been doing. And, but this one came. So I don't know, but we're going to see what's inside. And yes, I am wearing my uh, Vince Camuto scarf from the Hugo box that I unboxed a few videos ago and it is so cozy and i was actually really cold and for some reason i thought that it goes on with this look that i have today anyways let's see what the box has inside so here is the box and gift of glam is the theme for this box i will not be trying on any of the makeup there isn't much makeup in here but uh, whatever makeup is in here, I actually have it on my face and I will tell you what those are. First product in this box is from Algenist and it is their Triple Algae Eye Renewal Cream. Balm, actually. And here is what that looks like. Of course, it's hard to see with all the lights. It actually looks like almost whipped, um, but it looks really, really yummy i'm not sure if it has a scent it's not like strongly perfumed or anything and it actually feels very moisturizing i'm trying it on right now like just on top of my foot it feels really really good and i will soon run out of my eye cream that i am currently using so actually this is perfect and this is the most expensive item of the whole box the msrp on this is 68 dollars for a $25 box, which I still think BoxyCharm boxes are amazing, especially if you're new into makeup, if you wanna try different things and stuff like that. I, I still love BoxyCharm. Next item is from Seraphine Botanicals. Look how cute this packaging is. I love it. It is their Happy Hibiscus Palette. So it actually says that it is formulated with hibiscus extract to encourage a fresher, more radiant complexion as well as cornstarch and kaolin clay for a silkier transition and longer lasting wear, even on oily skins. Uh, this is cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, talc free. The palette itself also looks like the outside packaging. I just love this packaging. And these are the four shades that were in there. I am wearing this pink on the bottom corner uh, as my blush today. This is what that looks like. It actually is a very, very nice uh, blush color. And then the bottom shade on um, whatever side that is for you, uh, I am wearing that as a highlighter. And when I first saw these shades, I thought these are extremely, extremely dark. It does not say that it's like a uh, light, medium, or dark on the packaging. Because I thought maybe for some reason I got the dark one. But, I mean, they feel okay. I would swatch these for you, but I don't think you're going to see all that much of it. Plus, I wasn't kind of prepared to be swatching these. Uh, I'm not a fan of the scent of this. For some reason, I am really into good smelling makeup. Uh, this isn't that, but that highlight is on my face also. And as you can see, it's not like too dark or anything. Of course, it is the lightest out of the three highlight shades. The darker one on top, I'm wondering if that's a highlight or if that is also a blush shade. The MSRP on this is $48, which if you ask me, is a lot for a small palette like that. But moving on. We have got a product from Wish, and it is their Vanilla Bean Lip Mask Wick with, I will insert uh, whatever that word is on the screen here. Uh, I love the way this smells. I actually am not a huge Wish fan, not that I tried a whole bunch of things from it, but here's what that looks like. It feels very hard when you touch it. it seems to warm up as you like rub your finger in it. I put it on the lips before I put my makeup on today. It is a lip mask. You're supposed to put it on, leave it, I guess, overnight, but it can be used as a balm during the day. I actually really like it. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels. I must say I'm 
pleasantly surprised. And the MSRP on this is $32. Some of these things are almost like, really? Next, we have a set of two beauty sponges. I actually love the color of that one. Not the gray one, but the, it's like a purple. I love it. It's from Araceli Beauty. The MSRP on this is $24. I have kind of touched it through the uh, packaging and it, they seem very soft. I never had like a really big issue with any of the sponges that I tried. So I'm not expecting those to be bad or anything. And I could always use some sponges. I probably keep my sponges longer than I should. And this is the last product. It's from Mellow. It is a lip pencil crayon the msrp on this is 15 dollars, and it says it's a gel lip pencil this is what that looks like here is what the tip of it looks like and here is what that shade looks like i have it outlined on my lips right now and then i topped it off with one of my makeup by mario lipsticks it actually went on really really easy it gives a whole lot of pigment i actually like this shade and that was it for this box the total retail value of this box is 187 dollars if i remember that correctly so a great value for this box there isn't like a product that i absolutely hate so i'm happy i got this box and this might have been the last one so on that note I am going to finish this video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. And I will see you again soon. Bye.